Welcome back to the Collector Chronicles YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at and discussing army men. Army men are probably, aside from things like, you know, baseball bat or football, the classic American toy of modern times is the plastic army man. Uh, a lot of people, everyone's seen army men, even if, uh, even if you're not a boy or you don't have a brother, uh, you grew up seeing army men and, uh, uh, you know, them, you know, them when you see them, the good thing about army men is they're cheap and you can get a whole lot of them and go out in the dirt pile and, and have a bunch of fun with army men. Um, most people, they think of army men, uh, as being guys that look like this. Army men go way back. I mean, toy soldiers go way back to the uh, early early 1800s. Uh, they were called flats. They were made in. They were made of tin in Germany. I think I have one that I dug up uh, relic hunting. But uh, we're going to look at a number of different army men. Classic old army men. They're actually worth money. They're actually really collectible. Um, the ones that uh, there's different brands. They became really popular in the 60s. Um, and you have uh, a lot of them were like recast by other makers in China. So if you go to the store now, your army men are going to be green and they look kind of like army men, but they're probably made in China uh, of molds that have been reused for, for decades and for generations. So uh, the ones that you probably remember seeing like in the 80s at Walmart, they were made by a company called Timmy Toy. Oh, <laughs> Not this one, this one's made in China. But the Timmy Toy uh, were the classic uh, Vietnam era that had the uh, the M16s and everything. Um, there's a number of poses, guy laying down, a guy on a, on a, a radio. Uh, Timmy Toy actually goes back to uh, earlier times. They were from Aurora, Illinois. Uh, these guys, I believe, are Timmy Toy. You can see how they're a little bit different, kind of like a lighter color. Uh, they're marked on the base sometimes. Uh, of course, the one looking for one with a marking on the base, I'm not finding it. Uh, some of these right here were, uh, I think, Peyton or another uh, another brand like that. Uh, the famous Lewis Marks Company. Uh, that's, this is definitely Lewis Marks Company. They had these slightly smaller, um, I call them chubby face guys. Uh, this was from some kind of like military academy or training center type of deal. It's kind of like a rubbery type of plastic. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of kind of similar looking guys here. Uh, the earlier ones are, you know, supposed to represent like World War II, uh, poses. You know, this guy's got a, like a, like a water cooled 30 caliber. This guy's like a, like a sniper. So you had the World War II, Korean War. Uh, this guy's, you know, throwing a grenade. Um, these guys right here are, are flat. Kind of more of flat looking guys. Um, yeah, all different types. So there's another bag I got here. Uh, they'll, they'll get more interesting and, and uh, sorted as the uh, as the video goes on. It's not gonna be a really long video, but here we go. So army men is probably the first thing that I kind of got into collecting or noticed as a little kid. Um, when I was a little kid, I was a pretty inquisitive uh, uh, little guy, and uh, we would go to grandma and grandpa's house. They had a farm in Valmire, Illinois, uh, the, the Valmire, Illinois, that got flooded in the flood of 93. And uh, when we went to Grandma and Grandpa's house, even though I have an older brother and a younger sister, uh, usually only one of us went at a time. I guess it was, you know, all Grandma and Grandpa could take out there at the farm. But there was always plenty to do. But, you know, you also want to play with toys and stuff. And my uncle's toys were down in the basement. And Grandma would go down and get the army men. And I'd go with her down the basement. And, you know, it was a dark, musty, dank basement. It had a, I'll never forget the smell of that basement and the cardboard box with the old plastic army men, the way they smelled. And uh, we would bring them up, and I'd play with them in the living room while Grandpa watched the ball game or whatever. So there's a lot of fond memories uh, with cowboys and Indians and army men. And uh, my uncle uh, was had stayed on the farm and lived there, so... He would tell me about the army men and old toys back then. So one of the first things I got into collecting is old toys. And, uh, you know, a lot of memories uh, at the kitchen counter while grandma cooked supper, uh, playing with the army men on the counter there. There was plenty of room and uh, watching Love Connection or whatever. So that's my little trip down memory lane. Uh, the ones that my uncle had, he had a lot of army men. And uh, 
he had these. These are a maker called MPC. There was two big toy makers um, as far as army men and, and cowboys and Indians and other knights and everything. This video is mainly about army men. But there was Lewis Markson Company and there was MPC, which is Multiple Productions Company. MPC was kind of like a um, more economical uh uh, version of Marx. Marx was the most expensive toys. Uh, we have a comparison right here. Uh, Marx was famous for their play sets, which are very collectible. Uh, you know, probably some of the coolest toys ever made are Lewis Marx and Company play sets. Uh, I had the Navarone Mountain and the Iwo Jima Mountain, which in my opinion are the two coolest toys ever made as far as the ability to play like forever with them and, and still, uh, you know, um, have some kind of imagination with the whole the whole kit and everything it was like a d-day or iwo jima invasion type of thing so um they also had these like fort apache uh play sets that were like forts uh, my uncle had the alamo a lot of them had like a carry-all case where it was a metal case and you open it up and the walls of the case were the fort so to give an example of a comparison you have here's a lewis marks and company indian wars cavalry man um, from like the Fort Apache or something like that. And they make replicas and, you know, recastings of these. The original Lewis Marks ones, a lot of times won't have the circle and the X. They'll have like a Roman numeral for the date. This is an original. Um, but it's kind of like a, like a, like a waxy royal blue color. You can see, and then by comparison, uh, let's find a, uh, Civil War, they had, you know, Mark said like a Civil War uh, set too. It's worth a lot of money. So you have the MPC ones that I, I always love this like sparkly blue plastic. Um, so you have an MPC one, which is like not, they weren't as expensive. And there, there's like, you can see the difference because the Mark's ones, they're very lifelike. Uh, they're, they're poses. Uh, really good sculpting on these, even by today's standards. And the MPC ones, they had a lot more fine detail, though. But a lot of their, a lot of their uh, people, um, you know, aren't quite as lifelike looking. That guy's got like a mustache. Um, a lot of them, they had Zulu people. They had a lot of their people have kind of like this, <laughs> these like weird kind of faces. Like uh, you got a. There's the MPC Japanese. MPC had like these tall, lanky ones, and then they had like the smaller ones. MPC also didn't put a lot of effort into like realism. Um, to give an example, here's another one we're going to open up. Dump it on out there. All right. So these are all kinds of them. So here you have marks from the navarone set um this is probably my favorite army man uh, of all time it's a german these came in like a light gray like this and they also came in like a dark gray uh this guy is running uh really animated lifelike pose he's got a schmeitzer mp40 submachine gun so uh this guy right here is probably my second favorite He's got a potato masher grenade in his belt, and he's got a Mauser broom handle, uh, my favorite pistol of all time. So, so anyway, they they made an effort to sculpt, and their gear isn't really correct. I mean, his canteen's on the wrong side and everything, but hey, they went through an effort to uh, to actually have um, correct weapons. I think one of the Germans has a Panzer Shrek uh, rocket launcher, but MPC. Um, their weapons are just kind of like, <laughs> like this thing he's holding. It looks like a space rifle. Uh, that gun doesn't even <laughs> exist in real life. So, uh, they went, they did, they had the effort with the detail. Um, and they had really cool colors and everything with the sparkly blue and all that. But some of them, they're left wanting as far as the realism. Uh, here's an NPC Russian. One of my favorites, too. Big old star. You gotta have an enemy. Uh, there's their logo. Multiple Productions Company. Um, uh, this is a video we're not gonna look at uh, vehicles. That's a whole nother thing. I got a, ve a vehicle video we're gonna do eventually. 
Um, these are just lots like that I got on eBay. Uh, my uncle and I uh, have a tradition of having army man battles. We had one big one back in the 90s before the flood of 93 and we're always planning on someday having the, the war to end all wars, the biggest army man battle ever. We would uh, put him on the back porch and have, I was the Germans, I was the Axis forces, he was the Allied forces, and we'd set them all up, and uh, we had these uh, blow guns, kind of like a, like a uh, they were called Zulu guns, and they shot like a rubber dart, and we would basically uh, just set up all the army men, knock them all down, and then that, and then those guys were all dead, and then we would clear the battlefield, put out more, and then shoot them down, so it's kind of like, like a uh, a very really simplified version of war gaming you just set up army men and shoot them down with something and it was a lot of fun and i think we're gonna eventually do it again we'll probably make a youtube video about it um some of these though in here like this guy this is not an army man this is a tamaya africa Corps model kit guy uh 135th scale uh tamaya is like the premier most established well-known uh model company as far as military modeling uh Italeri is another one from italy uh tamaya is from japan uh they've had these uh 135th scale armor and figures uh going back to 60s 70s and they haven't changed them they're still good model kits so i recognize that one and you can see all his field gear is correct he's got the gas mask canister and his canteens on the right side he's even got a tropical uh 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 issue uh canteen they had a smaller cup like that so here we got a fireman some of them with army man collecting um it's kind of like a mystery you know um there's more rare and obscure makers like uh either jap the marks made uh japanese that are like a mustard color for their iwo jima playset. these are mpc japanese um that looks kind of like a <laughs> arasaka uh, rifle the uh mpc sure like those those cooling rings and all their stuff i guess it had like a laser gun looking effect to it um some of these uh there you go these are i think archer i remember going to kids houses and like you know going through their old toys when we're you know looking for toy guns or something to play with and looking at their army men and these might have been like their dads or somebody these are really old these are from like the 50s i think and usually their one of their arms was broken these seem to be always broken but they had like uh, apparently i never saw them at anybody's house that had these they had like a clear bubble uh like a helmet like a fishbowl uh space bubble helmet that's always missing um here's another one see this little m1 carbine um i'm gonna make a video just about the different uh toy soldiers and different action or uh toy soldier type figures that had detachable weapons and accessories uh this is one of them right here it's a little m1 carbine my uncle had some of these too usually the weapons got lost over time and uh you were fortunate if there was any left years later um this guy right here this is from a playset called Captain Video. Um, I think around the time of like, uh, you know, the, the uh, they call them serials, I think, where you go to the matinee and they have like a science fiction thing like Commando Cody or with the guy with the rocket pack. And they had a playset that was a Captain Video playset. And this little guy, there was like different, you know, crude robot looking aliens and everything. This guy went with that. Um, this might have been some kind of they also had jumbo army men too and this bar uh browning assault right automatic rifle and this helmet look like they went to some kind of bigger army men um yeah here's another one of the supposed to be a like an alien like a 1950s alien looks like an anteater or something those are pretty collectible so yeah and there's even more you know, I had not in many years, you know, I'm one of those people where if I see army men, I know what I'm looking at and I know the different, uh, the different brands and everything. But I came across these in a group and someone told me at a toy show what the brand was, but I forgot. They're really hard plastic. And one thing I will give them credit for, I mean, if you're, um, if you're into collecting action figures or anything, some of the action figures, like the Star Wars, like Stormtroopers and stuff, they turn yellow over time. Other action figures turn yellow. These things are made 
long time ago and they still look like the day they were made. I mean, whatever formula they used to make them, um, I guess this was another, it, it's, it was, a, it was a good process because they still look, they still look nice. One thing that is a downfall of army men though, is a lot of times, um, kids would chew on them. The barrels a lot of times are, uh, chewed off bayonets are usually chewed off bayonets are the first thing to go sometimes people would paint them um sometimes people would like cut their heads off and they'd be like red paint like they're killed or whatever these right here so these are kind of that same plastic they look like like um 1950s like b-52 crew guys or something they got like the insulated flight suits i haven't had any information on these guys i think that's what they look like if you just know about military uniform history that's uh what they look like these poses are kind of weird actually um these here like this guy i got a couple of these i think he had a pistol that broke off but the mold seam seems to go well, yeah, there was a pistol broke off. But even then, that's kind of a weird pose. I guess he's got a like a grenade in that hand. Um, look at this guy. He's throwing, I would assume, to be a grenade, even though that's not how you throw a grenade. And, and they trained him to throw him a certain way, kind of like a throwing a shot put. But, okay. But this guy... He's got a rock. That's kind of, I mean, I'm not sure how often in combat people throw rocks at each other, but he would have been good on the old uh, Navarone Mountain throwing a rock down at somebody. So kind of unusual poses. Um, this guy's got like a ray gun. Here's a, I think that's like a, like a baseball, but I think that's like a, uh, somebody like a, like a missile center where they had missiles and everything. There's a, that's a pretty decent pose there. He's on standby. So yeah, there's a uh, cavalry guy. I forgot who made that one. All different makers. This one looks like a... Uh, <laughs> it looks like a gas station attendant. HD. Like he's got a can of motor oil. That's what motor oil cans used to come in. Gas station attendants used to wear like like uniforms like a cop, like these hats. And they, you know, have full service. Yeah, he's probably a gas station attendant. He's got the, like, the rag or whatever. So, anyway, that's my Army Man video. Um, there's another good one. There's a bunch of vehicles. They had these little um, yellow-looking guys like this. I forgot who the... He was Peyton or Py Pyro. This guy's Pyro. That's pretty collectible. So, yeah, um, here's the pig from my Charm video. So that's it for today on the Army Men. Hope I brought back some memories for some people and uh, educated you on the world of on these uh, Army Men. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.